What is up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to film this video because this is gonna be a story time video and it's actually kak funny and kak scary because um, what I'm about to tell you um, is about my weekend, my Friday night and I feel like I wanted to come on my channel, do my makeup and share it with you guys because I feel like it's super funny and it can happen to anyone. So. Uh, if you would like to know the story about my Friday night and watch me do a little glam at the same time, then please keep on watching. Okay, I don't even want to waste any time. I'm just going to get straight into it. So, Friday night, a few friends and I have decided that we're going to go out to the club where I always go. Shout out to the address, Cape Town. <laughs> That place is truly like my second home and I'm always there, I'm there almost every weekend or every weekend so to speak but yeah so we decided you know what um let's make it a girls night and we're gonna go to the club we're gonna have some drinks we're gonna get a table it's gonna be fun we're gonna get a bottle we're gonna have food it's gonna be fun man so yeah we went and um <laughs> So yeah, we went and it was fun, like we walked in there looking hot as shit and I had on like this little outfit over here and I was just feeling myself, living my full fantasy in my outfit and all my girls were just looking so sexy and we really like, we really started the night off nice, let's just put it that way. So anyway, we get to the club and we have a seat at our table. The music is pumping, everybody's just vibing, it's going good. Yeah, now we are at the club, like you just, you're first gonna have a seat and just chill for a bit before you actually order a drink. Usually, I go straight to the bar before I go to my table. <laughs> um, if you are banging or knocking in the background, I do apologize, there's some construction shit going on here right now and I ain't finished. 20 minutes go by and I'm like, um, guys, I'm going to go to the bar now because I am thirsty and I'm going to just order me a drink. Are you guys going to come join me? Blah, blah, blah. So I go to the bar and I'm like, I need a Jaeger bomb. <laughs> I need a Jaeger bomb right now. <laughs> I order my Jaeger bomb, bartender looking fine as hell and I'm just like easy going, easy buzz. Okay, let me actually rewind quickly. We took a Uber to the club. No one was driving. We took a Uber to the club, okay? I was the only one that had a handbag, so everyone gave me their shit to put in my bag. Let's just let's just go right there. I'm sorry I didn't mention that in the beginning. I'm kind of like laughing telling the story back. So yeah, we took a Uber to the club. I was the only one with a handbag. Everyone gave me their shit to put in my handbag. So back to where we are now. Now everyone is at the table again everyone is enjoying their drinks and it's just liquor man and we're all just bopping to the music just you know what liquor hey hey <laughs> now about an hour goes by we've ordered our bottle we've ordered our platter and now with the drink is like it's kicking in the drinks are kicking in and everyone's feeling like a bottom. everyone's enjoying themselves and it's just a liquor night it's a liquor easy chill girls night no worries no cares, the drink it liquor, no ingeskop and amal as not no net liquor feeling themselves and it's just a liquor time. So now we get up from our table, we go dance by the DJ and everyone's just like shaking it, shaking it, shaking it, shaking it. <laughs> Everyone is clearly liquor and we are dancing, we're having a good time, we're taking videos and we're just going liquor man. And then shit hit the fan real quick fucking fast. What had happened was <laughs> after um, the fun had gone down, the fun is still happening. Everyone is just having a good time and we've got to keep it clear that we are going to close this club. We are going to leave when the last DJ leaves, which is what we normally do. So it was nothing new for us, but... As we're sitting down and everyone's opening the, like, the bottle to pour them drinks, opening the Red Bulls just so like get a drink going. And I'm opening my bag, I'm playing with my phone, I'm updating stories on Instagram, I'm tagging the club. 
And all of a sudden my friend goes, um, do you have the house keys? Um, friend, I don't remember you ever giving me the house keys, so, but let me check my bag real quickly. At this point of the night, it goes like, and it goes warm, my tongue is nuts, and I'm just having a good time, so I check my bag. The yellow tissue is in my bag, like a lady. I sketch everything out, and I'm just like looking for these keys, and there's no keys in my bag, and I tell her, babes, there's no house keys in my bag. And we immediately go, oh, fuck. <laughs> So, of course, the most logical assumption here is that we forgot the key in the back seat of the Uber driver's car. Clever. Now, everyone is, of course, in a panic, in a whole over the keys that's now gone. And I'm just like, I tell my one friend, babes, um, check up on your history on Uber, your last driver, and see if there's a contact number or something there must be a contact number there's always a contact number and if not i understand was stupid so in a way we find the contact details of the uber driver and now we try to call him the uber driver does not pick up the phone <laughs> the phone goes immediately to voicemail but it's echo um the number you have dialed does not exist which some some um service providers like have that when it's on voicemail doesn't necessarily mean that the number actually does not exist the number is on the the system of of bolt the number is on the system so clearly it is an actual number but now the driver is not answering mind you it is half past one quarter to two in the morning so maybe that driver is obviously like asleep so He's not going to answer his phone now, but we need our keys because we won't be able to get inside our house. So now we are ears in a panic, guys. <laughs> yeah, no. The driver is not answering us. Um, we need to get find a way to get our keys so we can get inside our house. And here I am, here Shaska. Shaska's liquor tipsy. Shaska is also like in a panic, but she's also thinking about dancing. <laughs> Everything just went left real quickly. So I am there stressing with my friends, but oh, like a drunk man, like a stressing, like a tipsy. And I'm just like, guys, I'm gonna wait inside and I'll just send me a WhatsApp or the updates and blah, 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 because my other two friends, the, the person who's renting the house where I'm sleeping over, my friend, my friend Rushan, she is outside with my other friend and the two of them are trying to get hold of the driver or trying to get hold of like, um, customer support whatever the fuck there is but they're trying to get hold of them and i'm just like well i'm gonna go back inside and i'm gonna have a drink okay <laughs> i am back inside i'm having me a time and pouring me a drink i'm bopping to the music and roshan and them are still outside trying to get hold of this driver so i'm back at the table like i said bopping to the music having a drink and now the other girls are like, what's going on? So now I tell them the story and everyone's just like, oh shit, what are we going to do? How are we going to get in the house? Because we can't get hold of the driver. So who knows no Mark? And I'm just like, I don't know. <laughs> so Roshan and our other friend comes back to the table and it's like, guys, we're going to leave because... Her niece is alone in her place and locked up alone in her place and this driver has her key. Um, anything can happen. So I'm just like, like on the outside, I'm saying, really, are you going to leave now? But on the inside, I'm like, I don't want to go <laughs> anywhere. So anyway, the two of them decide to leave and I'm just like, guys, you can go. I'm going to sit here and I'm just, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my night sorry but yeah i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my night i'll take a uber back um just keep me posted on the doings and what what and what what so they're like okay bye and i'm just like and Lushan is like um she doesn't want me to take a uber so late and i'm like i'll be fine man because all right because overall i'll be fine you go and make sure your niece is good um i'll stay here and like just drink further <laughs> so now it comes to the point where they left to go check on her knees and i am still here having fun having a good time minding my business sitting at my table bopping to the music 
like as the hours went by like and i'm just like you know what i don't smack anymore because i'm like sitting here by myself now so i'm gonna go so i go and eventually find them outside and we all leave like together luckily they were still outside when i also left so they were just like lambing it out outside of the club and when i left i saw them there and i was like okay they're still here we can leave together now so now we get home and eventually after like a lot of like sitting and trying to get hold of this uber driver still um i have like the biggest pee and i'm like Rochelle, i need to pee right now i don't care where i'm gonna pee i just need to find a spot to pee because i cannot hold this in any longer <laughs> And my friend is like, oh my god, are you serious like, right now? And I'm like, bruh, I need to pee, bruh. I can't hold it. I can't hold it. Like, I'm, I've been holding it. Like, we need to, like, just make a plan. We need to pee. Otherwise, I'm not going to relax, bruh. Like, it's not going to be a fun night. Because now we don't have keys. We're stressing about keys. But now we're also stressing about voiding our bladder. And that's not cool. Now Shan goes, my bro pee there by that bush there and I'm like no the people is gonna see there's no people there's no people <laughs> the people is gonna see I'm, I'm wearing this all in one lace thing I must take everything off so that I can pee and I must pee behind the bushes she's like come come we're gonna, you're gonna pee I'm come I'm gonna cover you take off your blazer I'm gonna cover you just pee there and I'm like you know what fuck it I'm gonna go pee now <laughs> and immediately I struck cow and I am taking the longest whiz by this bush and immediately after that I'm like oh okay now that I have voided my bladder we can continue stressing about finding our house keys okay so now 20 minutes go by still nothing 30 minutes go by still nothing a whole hour goes by and still no luck getting hold of this driver or getting hold of like contact support or customer support or whatever so that we can get our keys but luckily my friend's niece was still like awake and we could at least like contact her through like <laughs> the other side actually we jumped the wall i jumped the wall you guys so i'm jumping this wall because I can get over and I knock on the window and I'm like, Rashida, could you please give Rushan's car keys? Because we, have, we had an idea that if we can at least get the car keys and we can wait in the car instead of sitting outside in the cold. Do you know what I mean? That idea made us the happiest people ever that we could actually be like, inside somewhere, like with a roof and everything. So yeah, that at least like was like, Okay, so we don't have to be cold and miserable. We can at least wait in the car. So it's just Rashan and I now lambing it in the car, talking cack like we're making a, a light of this whole situation in Maparu. How are we gonna get the keys eventually? Like daytime and all of that. So we're like, you know what? Let's just. There's no point in stressing now because clearly we're not gonna get anything solved now. So we might as well just lamb it out in the car, talk cack, make a laugh out of it. Um, and like wait till a proper hour so that we can phone the driver and hopefully the driver is awake and he answers the phone and we can get our key. So we come to the conclusion that we are going to sleep in the car. We slept in the car, we took videos, we were singing karaoke a cappella wise and it was just a fun night. It was just a fun night inside the car before or like after all the stressing of like finding the keys and all of that. So. We actually made light of the whole situation and actually wasn't that bad of a night because we were laughing. Like I feel like it took our minds off like the fact that we cannot get inside the house right now. So it was it was all in all like we turned the negative into like a positive because it's all about like if you just feel liquor then you're gonna be liquor. We didn't feel liquor so we were miserable and complaining the whole time but then when we got hold of Rashida and we got the car keys we sat in the car and we decided you know what let's just forget about it right now because we're not gonna get the skis we might as well make that <laughs> so anyway you guys our night actually didn't turn out so bad because we made light of the whole situation and yeah 
Long story short, the sun came up, we got hold of the driver, however the driver kept hanging up on us, so we eventually got hold of a locksmith and then I got some of my shit and I went home and lived happily ever after. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so so much for listening to my crazy stories. If you want to see more story time videos like this then please let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Once again thank you guys so so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one.